Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we will be talking about lesson 7.2, which is called air pollution. Firstly, we are going to be introduced to the concept of what is air pollution. Air in general is a mixture of numerous gases, including nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and few other gases. Any substance that causes pollution is called a pollutant. Like literally, air pollution is the presence of a substance in the air. The substance could have harmful and poisonous effects. In other words, air pollution is the introduction of harmful materials into the Earth's atmosphere. This causes diseases, deaths to humans, and damage to other living organisms such as plants and animals. There are many types of pollutions. To sum things up and to in conclusion, we have that the pollution is the presence or introduction into the environment of a contaminant or a substance that cause harm or discomfort to living organisms and disrupt the natural balance of ecosystem. Moving to another concept which is point source and non-point source pollution. So a point source pollution, it is direct. It is a direct source of pollution such as industrial discharges or sewage outfalls. It is going to be easier to monitor and regulate due to specific locations of pollutants. While a non-point source pollution, which is a diffuse, scattered source of pollution like agriculture and runoff or urban stormwater, challenging to pinpoint and regulate as they stem from multiple less concentrated origins. Moving to the causes of air pollution, so some sources of air pollution is in the cities including the dust, dirt, smoke produced by construction industries and factories, then we have transportation, generators, indoor cooking and waste burning. As you can see here from the pie chart, we have 45% of the air pollution is due to dust and construction. Then we have 17% is via waste burning. Then we have 40% due to transportation, 7% due to domestic cooking, and then we have 8% due to industries, and 9% due to diesel generators. Moving to another concept, which is outdoor air pollution. So outdoor air pollution refers to the presence of harmful substances in the air outside typically resulting from human activities like industrial emissions, vehicle exhaust, and natural sources. It can lead to health problems, environmental damage, and the uh, deterioration of air quality, impacting the well-being of both people and ecosystem. This is what we are going to go through this week, and we are going to have research um, activities and hands-on activities. Thank you.